Hey guys, so a little different type of budget video today. I know I talk all the time about, you know, focus on minimizing what you're spending. Focus on cutting back what you've done. Last week we talked about starting a savings envelope, getting your thousand dollars. I want to help focus on one thing that really helped me get that thousand dollars saved up and that was my grocery bill. How many of you guys spend entirely way too much money getting groceries, buying things every single week? For me, what challenged me was my friend who literally told me, she was like, well, I spend $40 a week on groceries. And I'm like, what? How? And so instead of like, oh, she can't, she did that. Look at what she's doing. I wish I could do that. I said, okay, let me see how close to 40 I can get every single week. Granted, we make our grocery budget $125 every single week so that if we need to go over, it's okay. But everything left over from that goes straight into the envelope that we are filling. So for you, hopefully you are closer to getting your $1,000 saved. But if not, then this is a way that you can help like compile that money, cutting back on your groceries. So the thing that I do first is I go through my household and look at household items that I need. Things that I need such as toilet paper and conditioner and all that. And I make a big grocery list. But that's just stuff that I have to have. Then I focus on my meal plan. How I do it is I, I stick to the container system so that it tells me what to eat, how much of what to eat, all that stuff. Um, but then I kind of eyeball my meals throughout the week. I'll have the same things for breakfast, same things for lunch, same things for snack. And each day, each day... The only thing that really changes is my dinners. And the reasoning for that is that that's the one meal we all eat together as a family. So no matter what, I know I'm planning my entire, in my entire day around my dinners. So my breakfast, snack, lunch, those can all be adjusted as needed. Because if I if we have leftovers, Kenny will take it to, to work with him for his lunch. Anything left after that, that's what I eat. And we do the leftovers obviously, to cut back on waste. We're not going to be just be wasting all the leftover food. Instead, we're going to be eating it. So that's kind of how I do my days. So always, we pick out fruits, different types of fruits, such as bananas and apples, um, strawberries. The kids love blueberries, everything like that. And then we literally plan out our dinners. So what I'll do is I write down the day. Oh, what's today? Today is not Monday. Today is Thursday. Friday, Saturday, and I'm literally showing you guys this so that you see how I plan my meals and how I shop my cabinets to make my budget as low as possible. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. <coughs> so, literally just like that, that's what I write out. And so the next thing that I do is I'll go through my cabinets and I'll look, or actually I'll go to my calendar and look at what we have coming up to see like, okay, we're gonna be busy this night, this night we're gonna be out of town, this is, we have a game or an event to go to, so I'll need something quick and easy. And then I plan my meals around that. Okay, so after I looked at my calendars at what I have going on, the next step, the next thing that I do is I literally come to my fridge and my freezer and then my cabinet. So we have these small freezers, but we also have some downstairs. And what I'll do is I'll look at our meat. So as you can see, there's some chicken, hot dogs, um, there's fish. What else do we have in here? Tortillas, there's more fish. So I could do that, do these for like my lunch each day that we don't have leftovers. Um, and then the next stop, as you can tell in here, we have some burgers, some shrimp, there is some pork steak, there's fish, bacon, some round steak. So this gives me some ideas of, okay, what meat do we have and what meals can we make out of it? Then we check our cabinets. What kind of foods do we have in our cabinets? How much rice do I have? How much oatmeal? What kind of canned foods do we have? We have another cabinet full of stuff, just random things. There's a bag of chips, two bags of chips. Going through our cabinets helps me realize what we do have and what meals we can plan around. So for example, tonight's gonna be a date night in. I can easily make tacos for the boys. We have that bag of chips, so I'll make nachos for Kenny and I. <coughs> and then that'll be super fun. Tomorrow we're gonna do a family date night and we can just pick up a pizza from Aldi's. We have some pizzas here for Barrett, so we'll be good to go there. 
Saturday, I know I'm gonna be out of town. I saw some lasagna noodles, some pasta sauce. I'll just make a pan of pasta. That way they just have to pop it in and they're gonna be golden. On Sunday, it's Father's Day. We have some fish, so we'll probably just do a fish fry and <laughs> enjoy that time together. I know on Monday we are busy with the ball field. We have a bunch of games that we're going to go watch, cheer, cheer, eat people on. So we're just going to do a one pan meal. Simple. Use the hot dogs and the sausages that we have. Cut it up. Put it in a pan. We're golden. And then the other few days, I will just take the meats that we have, the sides that we have, and I will pick out something and then I will make my, rest, my grocery list from there. So essentially what I do is I have my meal plan made. I will start making a grocery list. For example, the nachos and tacos. Okay, so I saw we had the taco meat, I saw we had the chips, so we'll need cheese and sour cream and lettuce and Kenny will want chorizo on his nachos and we'll be golden. And literally for each meal, I will go down the list and make the grocery list of what we have to bring. And then I will take it to the store with me where we will go shopping. Okay, Aldi's run is done. We have a cart full of groceries. My biggest tips for when you go into Aldi's is definitely come into your meal plan with um, the flexibility to change. Because today the strawberries were on sale for 99 cents, watermelon were on sale like $3 off. You can definitely tell, tell that it's summertime because a lot of like the snack foods were up in price. So it's making sure you kind of know the normal price for things and making sure you shop according to your list. So we spent 60 some dollars here. Now we're gonna get ready to go to Walmart. Okay, and our last stop is Walmart. The mission here, stick to the list. Don't get anything that is not on your grocery list because that, my friends, is where you go wrong. No gallivanting, no exploring. Get what you came to get and get out. Okay, so we did splurge a little bit at Walmart because we wanted to get some things for date night at home and the boys and I decided we're gonna go on an adventure. So minus that, we spent $66 at Aldi's, $60 at Walmart. I would say for a week of groceries and household items, we're doing pretty dang good. So now all the money that I have left over is gonna go straight into our envelope, whether that's for um, our emergency fund, whether that's for just the next debt envelope that we have, all that money is just already taken because it's gonna go somewhere else. The important thing about budgeting is telling your money where to go. So instead of spending the extra, put it where it needs to be spent.